more eggs this morning. Have Thursday y'all this is just like cheddar cheese eggs and of course my zip is got to get ready and head to big city what a birthday did you say happy birthday? Happy Thursday. <laughs> okay, y'all. We were discussing cinnamon toast and how I used to have that all the time as a kid. It was like one of my favorites. Um, and the boys were like, make us some. And I know I've made it for them before. But anyway, it's been a while. So, I have way too much butter, way too much sugar on here. And I'm going to sprinkle some cinnamon. But when I was a kid, comment down below if you remember this. They had the little shakers that had cinnamon and sugar already mixed in it. And you just shook it onto your buttered toast. And then you broiled it. Do y'all remember must that? must have been high rollers. We were poor. My mom <laughs> mixed it up herself. Uh, <laughs> stop videoing. It was a good stop laughing. Oh my gosh, Craig. Child of the 80s. And we were too. Anyway, it was like at what? It was at the grocery store, not even Walmart. Was that like the local grocery store? Because we didn't shop it anywhere bigger than that. Anyway, it had. I can remember for sure they had one. It was like a little shaker like this, but it was like. Merritt, bring me my phone. We just looked it up. It was shaped like a cowboy. I can for sure remember that one. But I think they had like clowns and astronauts and doctors. I don't know. It was just like a bunch of different like shapes for the little sugar um, cinnamon shaker. Shapes for the blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, it was like nostalgic. It was so fun. Oh, are you going to show it to me? No, Hang on. I can't. Oh, uh, it was. We were looking at it on this. Yeah, see? Let me find the picture. Yeah. Comment down below if you remember this or were you like Craig and your mama just mixed it up with herself? Mmm, <laughs> it looks so good. Let's see what the boys think of cinnamon toast. Do we have a winner? <laughs> McCoy? It's good, huh? I'm still doing laundry. Also, it's Cat in the Hat Red and White Day for Dr. Seuss. So we got red and white. You have red and white on your shirt, don't you? Yeah. Caps. Mm, we're ready to go. You loved it? Yes. Now you're a child of the 80s. <laughs> All right, good morning, y'all. Oh, my earrings are a little crazy. I am doing none other than a, another of my favorite sweatshirts, y'all. It's just, they're just so comfortable, but yeah, I feel pulled together because it's got a little button detail and the front is cute and it's got a little more than just like a sweatshirt and it's comfortable. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. The only thing that I have against them is it's kind of like a dolman sleeve, which is fine for like this, but I can't do a, a vest with it. It feels weird with the vest, and y'all know I love a vest, but that is literally the only problem I have with it. Anyway, I'm just doing some fun turquoise earrings for some more. Ooh, they are off. Pops the color here. There we go. I bet this one is the same way. Anyway, I am heading to the big city. I have um, some packages to return here, my water, my big Stanley cup, of course. I did take a minute this morning to get out, if you can see that back there, the boys' um, showmanship blazers from um, horse showing. I'm going to clean them up good. Um, they just have a little bit of hair on them from, like, having a horse rub on you. Um, uh, but that, I want them to wear them to the Cattlemen at the Capitol event with like a starch shirt underneath. I think that would be nice. And then some nice starch jeans. Last year they wore sweaters like what Merritt wears to show in. And that is so nice. But I feel like this is a, they probably even won't even be able to wear these blazers this summer anymore to show in. So it's like one last hurrah with these things. Anyway, we'll see. I'll get all that stuff figured out tonight. Um, I'm going to pick up the clothes, go to a few of my stores, and head back here. Craig is going to pick the boys up with Doc. <laughs> he was like, y'all, make sure you're watching for me because I'm not going to be able to pull over. I'm going to be in the middle of the road with the trailer. <laughs> anyway, he's going to pick them up at school, and they're going to go to um, where we bought Doc from, our friends. And I don't know if they're clipping or washing or work. I don't know, but they're going over there after school, I think. Um, and then we're going to try to ride later on tonight is the plan. And then... Um, yeah, I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. I probably will not vlog tomorrow. I need to sit down and edit all these videos that I've been um, videoing all week. I haven't edited anything. The footage is still on my camera, which reminds me before I leave, I'm going to take the footage over here just in case. So I have those videos um, or I have the clips anyway. Um, I haven't packed anything. Nothing is ready to go. But most everything, I have one more load of... Um, laundry it's ready to go i just need to fold it and then it's all koi stuff so i have everything in piles i just need to like actually pack and start organizing things and figure my biggest problem right now is i have no idea i think i'm just gonna wear stuff like this this weekend like sweatshirts and um i have some pretty aztec sweatshirts that i've been wearing um 
with like a vest or a wild drag or something that's probably what i will wear this weekend to the show because i mean i'm gonna be like show mama i'm not i mean i want to be like look nice but i'm gonna be you know i can't wear anything fancy anyway then i know what i'm wearing to the game on monday i'm wearing my sweatshirt just like this that's yellow and then i did order i hope it comes in today a blue purse strap and i want to put go jacks on my purse strap because you have to use a, a clear bag for this because it's in a different um big arena because this is their like final like the tournament the championships um so it's in a different venue and they you have to have a clear bag for that and which i have a clear bag um i've used it for the pelicans game and the saints game and when we went to state championships for our for our football team like i have it so it's just black and then i can change any of my straps with it so i've been wanting an sdsu strap so i thought this is the perfect time so i'll probably just put go jacks on it with my cricket blah 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 blah, blah. i haven't even had caffeine well i've had my zip feels uh anyway I want to get that done and then I got to figure out what I'm going to wear to Cattlemen at the Capitol because that needs to be like Western professional wear and then I have that meeting the next day and that needs to be Western professional wear too. So I got to sit down and figure out. I have a ton of stuff. I just need to like figure out exactly what I want to wear. So that's all got to happen before Saturday morning when we leave this house. <laughs> I made it uh, to the big city. I got all the jeans that stacked up about as high as the back seat back there but they're in the car so that's good my ear is so itchy today um i'm gonna head in there's like a marshall's home goods hobby lobby ross all here in this little shopping strip so i think i'm gonna go to all my stores then we'll check the time and regroup they have cute easter stuff out y'all y'all know i love a good pom-pom garland Oh my gosh, y'all, they have the cutest shoes. Look at these Lucky brand flip-flops, some Kate Spade tennis shoes. I'm loving these little guest ones, but I don't know, do I really need them? It's me. I didn't get any video in there, maybe like in the very beginning. I, um, I'm having a chocolate chip cookie. I always get these at Ross when they have them. It's like a mix of chocolate chip, peanut butter, Hawaiian, and lemon. Anyway, um... I got in there and I got to the shoe section and they had cleats and shoes like Under Armour shoes for the boys so I went a little like not crazy but I was trying to figure out what I wanted to get and then I had to go back onto Amazon and figure out what like what sizes I had gotten them last. I was pretty sure Merritt was a six because we had just bought him some Currys Under Armour. I think those are Under Armours for basketball and that was right so I did find him another pair of just like um school shoes so we'll see if he likes them if he doesn't McCoy will definitely like them they're like silver and blue um and he's fastly approaching Merritt size so they'll be fine anyway I found some cleats I found some shoes from like I lucked out like I found lots of good stuff for really great prices so anyway now it's like noon <laughs> I stayed in there forever um I think what I'm gonna do is for sure go to Marshall's um Marshall's Home Goods. I don't really know that I need to go to Hobby Lobby. If I remember correctly, um, I have a ton of Easter decor and didn't even put it all out last year. But then I think, oh, what if they have something cute for the mending room like for spring? So maybe we'll jump in there. But first, I'm going to go to Marshall's Home Goods. I love this for the mending room, but is it too pastel? I'm in Home Goods. They have Joanna Parker Easter stuff. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So many cute little Ray Dunn. Easter things. This would be perfect for the mending room. So pretty. Would love to find a pillow for the mending room that's spring and not Easter. Oh boy, y'all. Lots, lots, lots of goodies in um, Home Goods Marshall's combo. It is two o'clock. Um, I am I am right here by Hobby Lobby, but I think I'm just gonna go get some. Um, there's a place called Slim Chickens. Slim, slim chickens, something like that. Slim strips. Anyway, I don't know what it's called, but it just says chicken strips. And they have some really good grilled chicken strips. So I think I'm going to get some of those. Head home. Why am I out of breath? <laughs> the jeans started falling out of the back of the car when I was like putting other stuff in. Good thing they can stand up on their own. They're so starched, so it's fine. Anyway, I'm going to go get some chicken, head home. Change of plans again. We're not going to work with Doc um, tonight. We are, Craig is going to go get the boys and they're going to go ride. So I'm hoping if I hurry and leave now, um, I can make it for at least the end of the ride. Okay, y'all, it's called Slim Chickens. And I did um, order fried pickles to go with my, ch oh my gosh, with my chicken strips. Oh, I wish they wouldn't put that bread in there. Oh, you can't even see it anymore. <laughs> I don't need to be tempted by that bread, y'all. Anyway, it's 
grilled chicken strips and then <laughs> fried pickles. I had some leftover uh, pickles, so farmer gets a snack. Okay, y'all, let's do a haul. Um, let's start with Ross. Get ready for the randomness that was this shopping day, okay? Um, let's see if I can sit back a little bit. This chair. <laughs> okay, found some stuff for the boys, of course. I always do. Um, socks. Okay. Let's see. Um, we'll start with socks. Why don't we? This, these are for me, not the boys. Okay. I love these Stance brand socks. I think these are actually, I don't know if they're men's or not, but it has, uh, is that Maleficent? Who's the Sleeping Beauty lady? Or is she the Snow White lady? Maybe I shouldn't have gotten these since I don't even know who they are. Is this Maleficent, y'all? I think it is. I bought it thinking it was Maleficent. Anyway, I love to wear these boots with my, uh, with, I love to wear these socks with my boots. These are just kind of tropical looking, $3.99 on clearance. I got these for Merit. Um, I don't know what the difference is, but he has some that are like this that have Fortnite on them that he got for Christmas and they're thick like this and he loves to wear them with his boots while he's riding or showing. So I thought he could wear those this weekend for the show. Um, I got this shirt for myself. It's Anne Klein, I think, yes. And it was on clearance, uh, was this the tag? Oh my gosh, yes, um, $12.99, and it's this pretty, like, poppy orange color, and y'all know I was telling you I needed new, like, tops to go under blazers, and, um, just, like, basic shell tops to go under all my blazers. I just thought that was really pretty and flowy and nice and very cheap. I did get a bunch of pants, but I don't know where the rest of them are. Not a bunch. Like, why am I fuzzy? Three pair, four pair of pants, two for Koi, two for Merit, I think. Um, oh, here they are. Oh my gosh, I got a lot of clothes. Okay, I don't know where the other ones are, but I did. <laughs> I got a pair of black Adidas for Koi and black and white Adidas for Koi and black and white Adidas for Merit. And I got a pair of, maybe I did just get three, a pair of this gray and white for Koi because Merit already has this color. So they always need new pants. Koi's got a hole in his um, pants right now that he wore to school, y'all. Oh my gosh. Anyway. I loved this Quicksilver, what? Oh God, I need jeans. Did you look down, did you look in the dryer? Yes. Did you look in the laundry basket down there? Yeah, those two are both too small. Oh, okay. Anyway, do you like this? I got this for Merit, but Koi can wear it one day too. It's my suitcase. I got a new suitcase. <laughs> really? Anyway, this is just like one of those little pullovers they love to wear, and I thought it looked sort of Western. I think it's supposed to be like a beachy vibe, but it looks Western to me, so I got that. Um, I think Quicksilver's a good brand, isn't it? I don't know. Anyway, um, I also... Koizy, just find some jeans. I think I starched all his jeans. I got this shirt for Mara. I don't know what this brand is. Amsterdam? I just thought it was neat. Can you see? It's like in the middle of a tropical city or some kind of city. And it's got a basketball goal on it. I don't know. I just thought that was fun. Is it like a... I don't know where it is. Anyway, it looked cool. So I grabbed him that. Uh, what else did we get? I love to find Lucky Brand at Ross. So I picked up this for Merit. He likes to wear these um to horse shows and cattle shows and stuff like that just sort of like tucked in his jeans before he gets into like his nice clothes so i grabbed him that one i actually think there was another one i have to find it though okay these are the shoes i was telling you about and i don't know if he's gonna like them or not y'all they are scram jet shoes under armors I don't know. They have like silver on them. I feel like Koi will love them. I don't know if Merritt will. So if he, if Merritt doesn't like them, then Koi can just have them. But I thought they were cool. Um, I don't know. Shoes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Also for Merritt, Merritt kind of wrapped up. Oh, here's the other pair of black and white pants. Um, this is. Just a little Under Armour t-shirt I thought was kind of fun and funky looking. So I grabbed that. It's in merit size. Honestly, Koi, they can kind of go back and forth at this point. I did 
kit, um, the past few times I have made eggs, uh, it's sticking like to my pan, my nonstick pan. I've had it at least probably four years, so it's just time to like get a new one. Anyway, I think that my other pan is like this, like my bigger one. I think that's an, is this the same size as the one I already have? I don't know. I got another one, but, uh, I think the bigger one that I have that's like this is a, maybe like a 12 inch pan. Is that a thing? This is nine and a half. But then when I got to, it was $8.99. When I got to Home Goods, I saw one even smaller than this. And I think that's the size we use for eggs. Anyway, we got some skillets, some non-stick non skillets because I hate for um, my focus, Haley, eggs to be sticking to the pan. Okay, I did see these. I don't know if Koi's gonna like them or not. I think I did some research and I think that they are football cleats. But I feel like he could wear these to baseball. They're just Nike Alphas. I think he's going to like them. I don't know if they're going to fit is the other problem. But anyway, cleats. Grabbed them. Never pass up cleats, y'all. Uh, I just got some little Betsy, Betsy Johnson fun little socks for myself. I've been wearing lots of socks like this lately with these little booties that I'm wearing today. I don't even know if I showed you what I was wearing. But they're just the little zipper booties. And those kind of socks are perfect for them. So... I got those. Oh, all of these. I got a bunch of other socks. But they are not sock shoes. But they're like separated. I needed a colander. This one looked fun. Has a handle. Grabbed it for $4.99. I did end up put, getting this garland. I don't even think I showed that to you in the store. Isn't that cute with the little uh, carrots on it? Precious. I can't exactly remember what I have for decor and garlands, but I did get this one. It was $9.99, and I thought that was expensive until I got to uh, Home Goods, and they were like $16.99, so not so bad. I got me a couple pair of flip flops. Um, I love, what are they called? Oh, I can't remember. They're yoga mat. I can't remember what they're called y'all, but it's the yoga mat flip-flop that I love. And I've had a million pairs and I have just worn almost all of them out. Let me set up. Um, but I have, I think I have like one nice pair left. What are those called? I can't, Sanooks. Yoga mat Sanooks, they're so good. But I just, they're not, they're, I, like I said, I have one pair left that aren't like totally scrungy, scroungy, whatever. So I saw these little Under Armour in this sort of lime green color I thought would be fun. So I grabbed those, they were so cheap. $9.99, yeah, for little Under Armour flip-flops for myself. And then I got some more that are, these were $12.99, and they're like, they feel like super cushiony. I don't know, they're kind of that saffron color that I'm loving lately, mixed with, um, I guess I could do them like this, mixed with a lime green um, accent. I don't know, I love them. I love to wear flip-flops in the summer, just kind of running around. So I did get those. Also, I got these for Merritt. I don't know if he's gonna wear them. They're Sperry's. I love Sperry's. So they're kind of like a hey dude. So I think he'll wear them just as like church shoes or I don't know, maybe when we go to San Diego, they might be a good little like touristy shoe perhaps. But they were on clearance for $5. For Sperry's? Do you know how much Sperry's cost? Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. Anyway, so I grabbed those. If he doesn't like them, I'll find somebody that wants to wear them. I also got these. They were in the boys section. They didn't look this pink <laughs> when I bought them. But now I'm in here in this light and they look really pink. But that color here is his favorite color. It's like a hot coral color. It's on the inside too. Again, if he doesn't wear them, I'll find somebody. The prices were insane. So if he doesn't like them, I'll find somebody to donate them to or give them to. But I thought they were pretty cute. So I grabbed those. And if he just wants to wear them around here, a big deal. They love that color, so I guess they won't really care either way. I did get a few things for Craig's Easter basket. I'm trying to think about Easter baskets. I got peach rings, and I got, oh my gosh. And I got, what are these kind of rings? Just like sour rings. I thought the packaging was cute. And then I got Jelly Belly and like a Easter. Easter whatever, Easter style. Okay, 
Was that all the raw stuff? I spent so much, so much time in the hospital. Okay. Home goods is. I got this sort of. I know this isn't real leather because it was only thirty dollars. It was on clearance. Um, polyurethane, but it feels so buttery soft, and it's so cute, and it's such a pretty color. But it's just like a little um leather bomber jacket but not leather but faux leather bomber jacket and i thought it was super cute so i did grab that i don't know why it was on clearance probably because we're going into summer and nobody's gonna be wearing this stuff anymore but i will so i grabbed that love it love it love it um what else did i get I got this. oh here's the other pan and this one was 5.99 this is the definitely the size that we use for eggs every morning. Um, but it doesn't exactly match that other one with the speckle, but they're all the same sort of minty color. So I think we will be able to cook eggs one way or the other. All right, I got this. Um, backpack. Y'all will have to tell me if you've ever even heard of this brand. It's called Herschel. Um, I looked it up and these are like $80 backpacks. But it had the Marlins logo on it and over here to the side. And it was on the clearance rack. I think it even has more. Yeah, it's got like Marlins on the inside too. Um, and I, it didn't have a tag. So I was like, oh, I'll just see, you know. I wasn't sure. I still haven't asked him if Koi likes the Marlins. But I know my brother and his kids do. So if I save this for a gift or if I give it to Koi, whatever. I just wanted to see how much it was. And she was like, oh, um, let me look. And she came back with the $12.99 sticker. And I was like, yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> They're like, I don't know. I think like. Did I, was it $80, $75, something like that? They're crazy expensive. Anyway, I got that. We'll see, to see what we do with it. I did get the boys a few things for their Easter basket. Should I save this? Ouch, I'm sure you, I didn't get very much. They're just little chocolate eggs. Um, I shouldn't have spent good money on nice chocolate because I did that at Christmas and they were like, we only like Hershey's. They're so weird. Anyway, I've never tried these, but they looked good. They're hazelnut. So I got the cayenne pepper ones and the sea salt and vinegar ones. They look fun. I'll bring those on one of these road trips we're going on. And then I got, oh shoot, there's something over there. I got this super cute little bag. What's this? Okay. Isn't that cute with the bees and the flowers? Okay, let me get something quick. Keep talking to me. I've never seen um, Home Goods slash Marshalls give this kind of bag. But it was nice. Who's that? not ready to go run horses yet they waited for me um i got some stuff for the paper goods basket y'all know i did how cute are these can we see how cute they are they're little bunnies precious 4.99 for those um and then i got these for 4.99 i think i forgot to tell you how much stuff costs i'm sorry are these just yo they have little white bunnies in them at some point i'll get my little paper products basket all together I did get some, let's see, makeup wipes. What are these, like $3.99? Yep, $3.99. Napkins, $5.99! $5.99 for napkins, these better be cute. They are, they're super cute. I don't know if they're focusing, oh, there we go, isn't that precious? I hope all this kind of coordinates together. Um, Y'all know I love to get the to-go coffee mugs and these just say, Hello spring on them with little chicks and flowers and stuff like that. So I thought those would be fun to put in the paper product basket. And then the last thing that I got my back hurts y'all is these little plates and they're nice and big and sturdy. So I think these would be good for the basket and they say happy Easter. And they have the little white bunny too. So I'm hoping it all of this kind of coordinates, but doesn't, but it's not too matchy matchy. Oh, I also ran to Michael's. It's right by Slim Chickens. Um, so I ran in there to see if I could find um, anything for Easter or for the mending room. And I did find these two little, oh my gosh, these two little rainbow picks I thought were cute in their spring section. I'll put them somewhere in here. They can stay all year. And then I did, they only had one of these left. They had a whole section that had like 
lemons and limes and all sorts of little fruit florally things like this that I thought were so cute. And I loved this for my summer decor. But they only had one, so maybe I can find some more at some point. I hardly ever go to Michael's, but I thought this would keep stuck down in like a little vase or, you know, in my decor somehow. So, Merritt! Come here! Let's see if he likes these shoes. Okay, I want to see if I got some stuff. Let me see. He's got to get dressed. Do you like these? Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you like these are yours. Do you like them or no? Oh, he's going. I wasn't sure. I thought they were pretty Why'd cool. You get them? Well, they were just a heck of a deal. I couldn't pass them up. Oh, I thought he wasn't going to like them, but I did get you something. Football cleats? No way. Do you like you gotta try them on because they're fours. They're Nike. Let's go. But they're size fours. I don't know. His Adidas are I size fives. Five. Your Adidas are three and a halves? I thought they were fives. But I Googled and it said that Nike can run bigger than Adidas, so I just got them. Anyway. Let me go um, get some socks. Did I get Plus, you any? I can't oh. still find any jeans. Okay, I will go find you jeans before we all get in trouble. Did he have was there only one Lucky Brand shirt? I thought I had gotten two Lucky Brand shirts. Oh, did I put the other one up? Anyway, I don't even know what I ended up with. I spent so much time in Ross, y'all. It was just like mind boggling. Okay, that is the haul. Oh my goodness. Uh, I have not shopped in a while, like in an actual store. So that got bananas. Thanks for following me along. Um, I'm not ending this here. We're going to ride horses. All right, we're in the bouncy truck. Everybody's loaded. Horses are loaded. Kids are loaded. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Okay. <laughs> so sick of the cold. They're supposed to be riding their horses, but they're riding barrels. <laughs> we put a new bit in for Cade. Seeing how it goes. <laughs> He's not fighting it too bad. There you go. Like one step. <laughs> well, let's see a trot. Merritt's trotting now. Finally, Loper Mer. Lazy bones. Will she do it? I can't even see her. Oh, there she is. That's sassy, not sure if you can't tell from way back here. <laughs> this one. <laughs> All right, he says he's gonna try it. It's kind of muddy in this pan over there, so he's trying to stay out of that. Oh, the garage door's opening. <laughs> Did you try it? Yeah. Did you not see? <laughs> there you go. Keep going. Pretty little trot. There you go. He wants to stop over here by the videographer. <laughs> there you go, Coy. Maybe I better get out of the way. Okay, Koi's gonna take him around. Give him a pop. He's not going. The other way. That's not his good way. There you go. Um. There we go. Um. And then we're gonna go home because I'm freezing. We did ring share, but I don't think we're gonna get to her today. It's so cold. All right, Merritt's gonna do a little speed dash here with this barrel. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Fast, fast, fast. Did she kick? <laughs> Hello. We closed the barn down. Just cut all the lights off. Yes, I'm going to start the truck. They got share loaded. It's hard to say anything. They're unsaddling. I'm so ready for summer nights. And then I'll be fussing about how cold it is. <laughs> I mean, how hot it is. Not how cold it is. How cold it is.